If you want to find out the method that a nucleus uses when it undergoes decay, you have to look it up on a reference table. New York State, that's reference table N, selected radioisotopes. It gives you the isotope and its mass and its decay mode, as well as its half-life, which we'll take a look at later. The decay mode is listed right here. Now, if you can't remember the symbol of your decay particle, you can simply flip to reference table O, which has your alpha particle, beta particle, gamma particle, and positron. It also has protons and neutrons there for good measure. To complete decay reaction, first thing we need to know is what it is that's undergoing decay. So let's just pick something at random from this table. All right, looks like we've got phosphorus 32. 32P. Now, according to this reference table, phosphorus 32 undergoes beta decay. Now, you can draw an arrow, and just to make it a little bit easier for you, you can draw a little beta minus there. The other information you need is the atomic number of phosphorus, and you can find that on the periodic table. There's phosphorus with an atomic number of 15. Now, beta particle is given off by this phosphorus nucleus. What's the symbol for beta particle, in case you can't remember it? Look it up right here. Zero, negative one, E. That's the particle that's burped out. Now, when you solve this, you're basically doing a very, very simple algebra problem. 32, and the arrow is an equal sign, zero plus. You see, the law of conservation of mass says but the mass on both sides has to add up to be the same. So if I've got 32 on the left side, I'd better have 32 on the right side. 32 equals 0 plus 32. Or, because the original nucleus had a mass of 32, and it didn't lose any mass when it belched out the particle, the mass doesn't change. The atomic number is 15. 15 equals minus 1 plus what? Well, that's minus 1. Minus 1 and 16 adds up to 15, and we've got 15 on the other side. And element 16, according to the periodic table, element 16 is sulfur. So what's just happened here is an unstable nucleus of phosphorus <coughs> spat out a beta particle and changed into an atom of sulfur 32. The nucleus you start with, the unstable nucleus, is called the parent nuclei. The beta particle is referred to as a decay particle. And the more stable nucleus that you form is called the daughter nuclei. Let's try a different decay off this reference table. Ooh. Uh, it looks like we've got K37. 37 potassium. According to this, potassium 37 undergoes beta positive decay. We need to find the atomic number of potassium. So for that, we just go to the periodic table. K19. If you don't remember what a beta positive positron particle is, go to reference table O, and according to this, a positron is 0 positive 1 E. Now it's time to get the daughter nuclide by using MAC, the law of conservation of mass and charge. 37 equals 0 plus 37. 19 equals positive 1 this time. 1 plus 18 equals 19. So now the numbers add up to the same on both sides. And element 18, according to the periodic table, element 18 is argon. Which, of course, is what you say when they're not there anymore. They are gone. It is also a pirate's favorite element, argon. And finally, what about alpha decay? Let's just pick one here that undergoes alpha. Uh, let's see, uh, francium-220 undergoes alpha decay. So let's do that. 220FR, according to this, undergoes alpha decay. Now, what's its atomic number? Francium, francium, francium. You don't have to go all the way to France to find it. It's right here. Francium's atomic number is 87. An alpha particle, what's that again? Reference table O says it's 4 over 2 He. Now think about this. It's got a mass of 220. Now we've got a particle that when you vomit it out, 
you're vomiting out a mass of four. Weigh 220, you vomit out four, it's now down to 216. Because 220 on this side, 220 on this side, the law of conservation of mass has been obeyed. You better obey the law. Down here, we have 87 protons in the nucleus. We're going to lose two of them when it gets barfed out. 87 equals 2 plus 85. And according to the periodic table, element 85 is astatine, A-T. So again, that is how all radioactive decay equations get done. You start with your parent nuclei. Got an arrow that indicates that there's going to be a change taking place. You put the decay particle and daughter nuclide on the same side of the reaction. Imagine, if you had put this on the other side of the reaction, you're saying that francium is eating its own vomit. That's disgusting! 